it's Jessica Sidemer, the Green Light Coach, and I help you get more work, better work, or different work, and you are watching Real Answers. Your question, my answer, Real Answers. Now, I've worked in the entertainment industry for 20 years, helping actors, writers, directors, cinematographers, and more recognize that they are the CEO of their companies. They are entrepreneurs of entertainment. Therefore, my videos also help entrepreneurs, marketers, and small business owners. So if you have questions, I have answers. Here's today's question. Jessica, how do I give a compliment in an email without sounding insincere or brown nosy? Well, here's tip one. Be sincere. <laughs> Sounds obvious, but if you are giving a sincere compliment that is authentic and from the heart, you won't sound insincere or brown nosy. Only people who are brown nosing and insincere sound that way. Because a person who can recognize insincerity and brown nosing doesn't like it, so they won't do it. Does that make sense to you? If you recognize it in somebody else, you don't like it, so you won't be that way. Whereas someone who is insincere or brown nosy, doesn't understand it or recognize it. Makes sense? Because it's who they are. I mean, look at this guy. You can feel the insincerity. To which she responded, well, when they don't know you and you're writing to introduce yourself as a potential collaborator, I think many people may read into it that way, even if you're truly being sincere. So here's tip number two. Be sincere. Here's the thing. If you have an ulterior motive, people see through it because it is insincere. When you are first reaching out to someone, your motive should be to create a relationship and see how you can be of service. Therefore, if you're giving them a compliment, it's sincere because you mean it, which is why you want to start a relationship with them in the first place. So once you send it, that email with the compliment, you then have no control over what people think. All you can do is be you. And maybe they'll be your people, or maybe they won't. But there's plenty of people out there. So if you can be sincere with no ulterior motive other than to create a relationship and see how you can be of service, then once you put it out there, they're either your people or they're not. So here's the thing. Communication. When you're in person, people see 55% of you as your physiology. They can see all your nuances, so they can really get to know you. Then pile on top of that when you're in person, your tonality. Now, if you're on the phone, you take away that 55% and all you've got is the 38% in tonality. But look what happens here. If you're just sending an email, you have now taken away 55% of what they know about you, 38% of what they know of you, and all they get are 7% the words. I mean, look at this. When you see people in person, you can see the sincerity there. You can see the love there. But if it's just an email, all you have are your words. So choose your words wisely. Tip three. That's right. Be sincere. Remember, if a compliment is from the heart, there is no doubt that you're being sincere, genuine, authentic, and acknowledging. That's what it all comes down to. So check yourself. When you're writing this email, is it coming from the heart? If building relationships is something that you are prioritizing right now on your list, then check out TripleYourContacts.com and listen to a call I gave on how to triple your contacts doing what you love. Well, now I want to hear from you. Can you tell the difference between a sincere compliment and a compliment with an ulterior motive? If so, share it with us in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? If so, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. And for more insights and to keep up with where and when I'm speaking, go over to thegreenlightcoach.com and sign up for my newsletter. Do you have a real question you want answered? Put it in the comments below or email me at jessica at thegreenlightcoach.com. And remember, you are a piece of the puzzle that makes entertainment. And entertainment moves the world. So the world needs you.